In December 2017, Glory 48 New York saw the crowning of a new women's super bantamweight champion, Anissa Mexen of France, who took a decision win over American Tiffany Van Soos. At Glory 53 Lille in May, Mexen faced top contender Amel Debbie. The two French fighters produced a dazzling five rounds to the delight of the French crowd, but the champion's superior movement and power proved decisive as she avoided Debbie's counter strikes to outland her opponent consistently. In the featherweight division, Robin Van Roosmalen defended twice in 2017 against Petch Panamarong at Glory 41 Holland and Serhey Adamchuk at Glory 45 Amsterdam. At Glory 52 Los Angeles on March 31st, he faced his toughest challenge yet as he faced interim title holder Kevin Van Ostrand. But Van Ostrand's dreams of becoming Glory's first American men's champion were dashed on the rocks of Van Roosmalen's relentless pressure and superior conditioning. Despite some early success, the later rounds became an exercise in survival for the American as Van Roosmalen clicked it up a gear and dominated. Next month, see the Dutchman's third defense as he faces Petch Panamarong once more at Glory 55 New York. Lightweight superstar Sidichai of Thailand has successfully defended his belt three times with wins over Marat Gregorian, Dylan Salvador, and Christian Bad News Baia at Glory 50 Chicago. At Glory 53, he faced gifted youngster Tajani Bestati. Bestati seemed unfazed by the champion and started strongly, avoiding the tie's damaging southpaw kick to score the first two rounds in his favor. But as the fight progressed, Sidichai began to figure out the Moroccan and began to clearly outland him. After five rounds, he'd done enough to score the win and retain the title, and now goes on to face Marat Gregorian in China this August. At Glory 50 Chicago, Belgian beast Tariq Gregorian took the belt from Myrtle Grunhart in what many saw as sweet revenge from an earlier controversial knockout. In his first defense, he faced number one contender Aline Nabiev at Glory 54 Birmingham. Nabiev came into the fight at 3-0, including wins against two ex-champions. And the tricky Azerbaijani challenger proved willing to trade shots and stay in range of the Armenian power puncher. But it was Gregorian's forward pressure and power that proved decisive, taking the Armenian to a unanimous decision and a rare successful defense in the most competitive of divisions. In the middleweight division, Brazilian beast Alex Pereira took the title from Simon Marcus in a stunning upset at Glory's first event in China, Glory 46 Guangzhou, and then defended with a TKO win in a rematch with Yusuri Belgarwi at Glory 49 Rotterdam. But with the dominant performance at Glory 53 in May, the Tunisian earned the right to challenge again, setting up the decider in a trilogy at Glory 55 New York next month. The light heavyweight title remained in the hands of Russian rocket Artem Vahitov throughout 2017 as he opened the year with a TKO win over Brazilian berserker Salo Cavallari at Glory 38 Chicago and closed it with a decision win over contender tournament champion Ariel Machado. But with Pavel Zervalev looking to bring the pain from Ukraine, 2018 looks to be an exciting year in the light heavyweight division. And at the top of it all, another year, another set of successful defenses for the king of kickboxing, heavyweight champion Rico Verhoeven. In December, Verhoeven took on a dangerous grudge match with Man Mountain Jamal Ben Sadiq at Glory 49 Redemption. Sadiq looked dangerous and the fight was anything but a foregone conclusion until Verhoeven delivered a masterclass and dismantled the challenger with a TKO win. And at Glory 54 Birmingham in June, it was the turn of Milan Brestovac to challenge what many were now describing as the best stand-up fighter on the planet. The two had met before, way back at Glory 28 Paris, and this rematch looked like a five-round replay, with the dominant Verhoeven staying inside and avoiding damage from the much-hyped left head kick of the Croatian to score another convincing decision win. Brestovac earned the respect of the Dutchman, but on this form, unstoppable sounds like an understatement.